watching News 8. I'm pleased to welcome Laura Stradley, the Executive Director from the Veterans Outreach Center, back to the program. Great to see you, Laura. Thanks for having me. Great event coming up. Uh, it's an annual event, Stars and Stripes, this year set for Friday, November 2nd at the Floriano Riverside Convention Center in Rochester. Uh, it's Obviously, it's a, it's a special night. It's an emotional night. Uh, bring our viewers into the evening. Definitely. So um, for anybody that's not familiar with the Veterans Outreach Center, we're the oldest nonprofit in the country serving veterans. So um, every year we like to find a way to really pay tribute to the men and women who have served their country. And um, typically we like to do that in November because it's obviously very close to Veterans Day, November 11th. Uh, this will be our 13th annual Stars and Stripes Gala. And it's a really special night. We do a lot of incredible things that um, I think are very unique. And so um, one of the most important elements of the night is that we have a table of of honor, which is set up to um, pay tribute to the men and women who died in the name of freedom. And so we'll have their families there that night as well, the Gold Star families, um, as a way to say to them, thank you. I mean, words don't really do it justice, but, but we try to find a way to express our appreciation to their families for their sacrifice. Um, later in the evening, we'll also have some testimonials from some of the veterans that Veterans Outreach Center has helped to support in the last year. Um, whether that's through uh, some of our employment and training programs or housing, uh, legal services, any of the different things that they may have come in looking for assistance from, and they'll share some really uplifting stories with everybody. Um, we also have a wine poll. We've got some terrific silent auction items, so it should be a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, and, and events like this, in terms of sustaining the Veterans Outreach Center, which of course is, is essential for all that you're doing, it, it turns out they're really important because some of those rev revenue streams that you rely upon year in and year out, it's not always the same number. That's true. I mean, unfortunately, you know, sometimes the government has new priorities year over year, and so things that maybe they funded one year, they, they don't fund the next year, and we've experienced that many times. Um, and so uh, an event like the Stars and Stripes Gala really helps us to fill in the gaps where um, other sources, you know, sometimes don't come through. Uh, and we're just really fortunate. We've got such a patriotic community, and, and people in Rochester support us very, very um, wholeheartedly. So. We're, we're very fortunate. And we know they will again this year. Yes, we're looking forward we hope to it. so, definitely. And people can still buy tickets if they're interested in coming. We'd love to have as many people come out as possible. It really is a special night, uh, and we'll leave it at that point because it's your turn to get involved. As Laura said, tickets are still available. To come in and see this uh, and experience it is something that everybody should do and take a moment to reflect on those who have served our nation. Vokrock.org is the link. That's how you get your tickets and more on the Veterans Outreach Center there as well. We're sharing that on our site as always at rochesterfirst.com.